with each other. As soon as you join the tournament, um, you will see all the players, obviously. They're here on the left tab, on the right tab, there you can see all the games that uh, are in progress. The tournament will start in three minutes, so obviously right now there are still no uh, games visible. So we have five players that may mean, or will mean, obviously if um, nobody else will join, that per round there will be one free player. Um, yeah, so somebody, one of my clubmates is asking, will there be more than five players? Ik geef eventjes antwoord. I will answer them in Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Oké, okay. daar komt uh, speler nummer 6, Bobarone. 1, 2, 3. I really don't know who that is. Uh, it's funny uh, with those next nick uh, nicknames. Anyway, um, time to get my tea. Back in a sec. Okay, seven players already. We also have uh, Rafiko join the group. Excellent. That's quite a lot. So, cheers to you all. My first zip of my hot tea. Hmm. So, I'm really curious how things will go. So Jasper will be the tournament director. It says here it will start in one minute and 53 seconds, but it is already eight o'clock. At least uh, on my computer clock it is here in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. <coughs> That's where I'm broadcasting from. So maybe we should just switch up the WhatsApp so nobody will give any in-between messages. Okay, so let me type in a few more welcome messages. And then soon, well, in one minute we will be paired with each other. And let's see if uh, I will be playing in the first round because um, obviously currently there are Okay, <laughs> there was a message from the side. Uh, there was an uneven number of players. So test rider, I know it's Dennis and Capabanca Che. I also know it's Piotr. Rafiko is Rafik. Jasper is Jasper. Waldemar is myself. Pevea is um, I know. He's our uh, club secretary. Come on. Okay, <laughs> having a bit of a blackout at the moment. Mm -hmm. And Bobarona, I don't know. Is it maybe Henny? It could be. So I'm going to ask who is Bobarona. Oh. I'm I'm paired already against uh, Capablanca Che. Okay, here we here we go. <laughs> so good luck to uh, myself and to Piotr. Hmm. Right. So what does he? Um. What does this mean? Oh well. Uh, let's play some moves. He'll probably play e5. Yeah. No, 
he doesn't. Mm, he played like this against me earlier on. Ah well, let's play some kings and then moves. Okay, so he's wishing me a good game, pay pay, which means prettige partij in Dutch. Good game or have a good game, have a nice game, something like that. Um, knight f3 should be fine, right? Okay, so he's building, he's building the king's in Dunia clearly, clearly, clearly. Hmm. The screen is a bit big. Am I still happy with that? I suppose. Uh huh. Okay. Well, wh what does that mean? Can I still play my Gligorich system? It's what I wanted to play. What's he up to? Not completely sure what he's up to. I also don't really want a castle yet, to be honest. So I don't want to see these messages. No, yeah, okay, these pop-up messages. So what am I supposed to play here? Oh, I really need to get going again, right? Because I don't have an idea. I really don't have an idea right now what to play, what to play. Hmm. Can I play e5? He takes, I recapture with the pawn, he exchanges. It's, uh, e5 is a silly move, I feel. Let's not play e5. I can castle as well. But what is his intention with c6? I don't really get it. So uh, what can I play then? I don't have a lot of time. It's only... Uh, this way I'm not going to win any games if I play so slowly. What does he want to do with c6? Hmm. What's an interesting move then? Bishop e3, is that interesting? Then he plays knight g4, I go bishop g5. I don't know. I can also go h3. It's all a bit silly, a bit dumb. I don't really like it too much. <coughs> Does he want to play a6 and b5 stuff? Maybe. Does he want to go? Ah, let's castle. That took me a very long time. So where can we see the time control? Oh yeah, here it's indicated 15, 10. Yeah, that's probably below uh, my webcam, so you guys cannot see that, because there is obviously an overlay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he wants to play on the dark squares. So he's trading off pieces that can defend the dark squares. But now yeah. Maybe now I can play e5 he takes. Oh. They have been playing every week on Friday and I have not been playing for half a year or so. So what to do, what to do? He definitely intends to take e5. Let's try and open up. So exchange. Yeah, I recapture with the pawn. Yeah, hmm. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Uh, probably uh, bishop e3 looks like a decent enough move. Let's play bishop e3. And then if he takes on f3, probably gonna have to take that with the bishop, right? So let's let's pre-move that. <coughs> ah, okay, now I know these light gray and dark bars. Okay, but is he not forcing the issue now? If I can now play e5, takes, takes, there is not a good square for his knight to go. But of course he will take in between on f3, huh? So 
So I play e5, he takes in between on f3, I take on f6, he takes on e2. I take on g7, he takes my queen, that's a problem. Yeah. e5 again, takes on f3, takes on f6. Takes on e2, knight takes e2, or queen takes e2, and he takes on, yeah, on, on f6. He should be fine there, to be honest. I can also play e5, mm, no. Maybe to have h3 is not such a silly move in these positions. Should we play h3 and just clear things up a little bit? I can also play rook e1. <sighs> Why is that not an obvious move for me? I want to play e5, make it work somehow, but I can't. I just tried to calculate that maybe I'm missing something there. h3 is an easy move. For him to make too easy, yeah. Maybe rook c1, rook b1, or a3, or something along those lines. Rook e1 is maybe a move, queen d2 is a move. I just don't know, guys. Ah. Rook c1, he takes on f3, goes e5, I play. Something like d5, he goes c5, and then my rook on c1 is not well placed. I think I need to play a little bit more flexibly. <laughs> Maybe a rook e1. Okay, let's play some move. I don't know if it's correct. Not happy with the way I'm playing because I'm not feeling the opening. Normally, I know much, much better what to do, what, what to look for, but the way he's been playing this, you know, with the bishop out, and it's it's not so common. Hmm. He's also maintaining a lot of tension here. Now maybe, maybe I'll just try and uh, just confront him a little on the c file, you know, because his queen is there, so why not? I'm already down five minutes on the clock. It's not, it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing. Hmm. It's not a good thing. Why does he choose this weird uh, modern move order? How to get just to the king's Indian? Maybe it's just to confuse the opponent a little bit. It's possible, of course. So what else can we? Can we? Well, okay. Let, let's not get distracted here because there are so many functionalities and different tabs and things to to figure out here on chess.com look at other games and um, maybe yeah now he's playing this move Yeah, if I play the exchange, he has a good structure because he will get my knights and then he will have uh, good control in the dark squares. Um, I'm I'm tempted to play. Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to play d5. I think d5 is a decent move. So let's play it. <coughs> oh, what happens there? A whole other menu pops out, you know, when you touch the left hand side of the screen. Hmm. So let's see if the stream is actually working. I don't know. Is it? He's made a move, yes, c5. I am. That figured, and now my rook on c1 is not so ideally placed. But wait, there is a b5 square now for me. I can also just go and I like it somehow. Go knight d2 and then just go for some uh, positional positional game, yeah? Where I will have the better bishop, hopefully, because his bishop will not be able to retreat right now. So how do we recapture with the queen, of course? My position is nice. I can still go for a3, b4. <coughs> yeah. 
Um, should I go F3? Not necessary at the moment. Not necessary at the moment. Okay, I'll just go A3 here. I think I know a little bit better at least now what to try for, what to play for. But maybe the other rook should now go to C1, huh? And the C1 rook. Mm, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, maybe I should just keep him from coming to f4. I I want to play g3. If he goes f5, I can take that, yeah? And he cannot take with the pawn. If he takes with the rook, I might even just play g4. But then knight f4 takes rook f4. Hmm. But I'm not so convinced by his rook placement uh, <coughs> on f5 in that case. I'll still be solid. I got an e4 square for my knights. Yeah, I'm keeping this b4 stuff in reserve. Hopefully I can then follow up with knight b3, put some real pressure on c5. Even though it's not clear how I'm <coughs> then going to proceed. The only real advantage I have, I feel, is that I have the better bishop and of course a, a slight space advantage. Yeah, that's true. At least I'm playing a little bit faster, but you know, he still has a lot of time. <coughs> so, h5 is a target, yes. Yeah, it's 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 my only target. Well, the, the, the queen, I can hit the queen in one go with knight b5, but of course currently that's not a very useful move. So I have to give myself some targets. Yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to play f4 here. The only real plan I have is just to, to play for the break. And I think I'm also quite well prepared for if he goes um, f5 himself. Is b5? A, no, b5 is never really a possibility for him. I'm controlling that uh, currently three times. I'm also overprotecting my Central palms with the knight, I like that. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to take that. So he's going to take that with... Uh, so now it should be knight here. Let's just play positionally, you know. Um, I think I'm threatening knight g5 e6. You know, that that's the big deal of, of playing f5. I, I really don't like the plan here so much for black. I really don't like the plan so much. I should not make the mistake of going uh, g4 when it's tactically ill-timed. Maybe there is sometimes a queen move when actually I would be threatening. Uh, G4, maybe if he now tries to stop knight G5 with H6, then H6 becomes a target. Then there's queen G4, maybe also queen D2. Queen D2 hits, if he protects, then G4 does win a piece, yeah? So that's really quite nice. So how is he going to stop? Yeah, so okay, he has retreated. But there is no way to protect the e6 square now, is there? Okay, so let's go knight g5. It's, uh, <coughs> oh, again, the menu pops out. Okay, at least I, I understand what I'm doing now, yeah? Bishop h6 would be a blunder, knight e6 is just hitting everybody. But even if I do not win the exchange, let's say he moves the, the queen now yeah, to, to d... No, d8 is not possible, c8. So my knight comes to e6, he'll move the rook, and then... Am I going to take the bishop?
yeah, you know, then you have this strong knight on e6, but then what? Then what? I have to look for tar uh, for tactics then. Okay, let's just put the knight out there. Wait a second. This is also interesting, yeah? How is he going to protect uh, d6? I might just follow it up with, uh, with that move. How is he going to protect that? But then probably queen... I, I think this, this move is just an excellent addition to my position, yes? There's really only queen b8. But then maybe there's queen g4 hitting the knight. If knight f6, then I'll just check him on e6. And I do win the pawn on d6, yeah? Yeah, it's not too bad. Okay, so let's say queen b8, queen g4 hitting. Yeah, if he doesn't move the knight, I'll still have the check. I will still have the check. It looks, it looks tremendous, to be honest. Am I missing something? Ah, let's try it. Here we go. Queen g4. I'm just looking for targets, right? Of course, I'm going to miss something somewhere down the line. It's always the case, you know. It's always the case. So I want to take the knight. And uh, it's not just that, it's also maybe an exchange huh? with knight f7. Even though I'm not sure I want to play like that because my rooks are not so active. So I might just prepare to take the pawn on d6 because then if I take d6 then c5 will become weak and also e5. And then I think that will liven up my position more, especially with regards to the rooks. So I'm going to prefer taking the pawn and not the exchange. Okay, yeah, yeah, well, I didn't see that move. Yeah. <coughs> Is queen h3 an idea now? With the threat of g4, also h7 becomes weak then. That is very funny stuff, yeah. But again, it's maybe never really a threat, huh? Shooks. This is this is a move still. This is a move. He found a move. B4. B4 looks kind of strong. Also, I have to be prepared that when he moves ni any knight to f6, I'm going to have to drop back, huh? Yeah, but if he moves a knight to f6, then b4 would be under attack. Somehow b4 makes a lot of sense. Okay. No, 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 queen h3 was the move, because after g4, knight f4 is not possible because of queen take h7. Ah, that's really a pity, that's really a pity. Maybe I can still try it. Maybe I can still try it. Yeah. I missed this opportunity, that's really a pity, that's really a pity. 
Ah, that's really a pity. I still want to try and get a knight, of course, to e6, huh? It could be very nice. If I play queen h3, he'll just take on e4. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So somehow that doesn't really work. Hmm. Maybe we should be taking it. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it so much. So I missed I missed the opportunity here. He's attacking my queen. So I should take or move the queen. That's good to know. Queen e2, keep it central, huh? Keep it central. So now he's going to take on e4 and we'll recapture with the other knight. Yeah, no, yeah. So rook one is not ideally placed. Maybe it should go to d1 to support the d-pawn. <laughs> also a move that I'm probably going to like a lot. Seems I missed my chance here, somewhere around here, huh? Still, this g4 trick is sometimes in the air. I think I'm also threatening c5. I think I'm also threatening c5, yeah. He will, or he might, play... Knight of six now. I can take that. He'll recapture probably with I don't know. And then I'll just go c five. I should have the better position somewhat because of my central uh, control, central preponderance. A nice move to play there is probably also bishop b six, eh? which already controls then. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Let's not forget that on f7, the rook is a target. Okay, I think this is maybe making it a little bit too easy for me. Because now I do get this uh, pass deep on. Huh? I do get this pass deep on, yeah. My rook is very well placed. Um... Checks. Checks. Captures. Well, D5 is hanging. I think I can just go with takes and then push the C pawn. Let's try that. His king is not so safe, also. Huh? So. E5 is also weak. Mm, how is he going to play that? Huh? I think he'll take that with the bishop. Takes with the rook. The rook's vulnerable. Well, 
uh, let me just go with my gut. My gut somehow tells me to push the c-pawn. <coughs> Opening up my bishop as well. Huh? So if he takes, I'll just recapture with my c-pawn. strong. My queen is on the light squares. Yeah? So queen g4 hits the promotion square. Queen c4 hits. Um, it's, it's nice. Yeah. Queen c4 is nice. a6 is also a hit. Maybe rook e1 hits the queen, queen c4, rook e1 to d1 to d7, stuff like that. My king's really quite safe at the moment, so. Queen b5. Yeah. Um, queen b5 is maybe queen g4. Everything's well protected in my camp. I like it. Bishops and pawns are connected. Mm, really? Well, let's give him a hard time here. Now maybe just you know rook d1. Let's let's play with rook d1 to d7. That looks like a pretty good idea. Let's not forget a6 is also hanging. And then there maybe will come a moment that bishop b6 is winning. Mm -hmm. Let's let's try this move. I need to play some very good attacking moves now, you know, to try and win this because it feels, yeah, it feels that it is winning. <coughs> so rook d7, I wanted to play, but then he takes. Is 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 yeah. Hmm. How do I, how do I wreck him here? Queen e6 looks attractive. Rook e7, he can take twice, so that's not the idea, yeah. Is rook b1 an idea? Um, I'm, I'm just missing the plans here. I'm missing the plans. Rook b1, rook b8 takes takes and then I can not play c7 because he will take it <coughs> my bishop needs um, my bishop needs something to do I take mm. so where could my bishop go to harass him queen e6 with the idea rook d7 anyway because if he takes it i'll take it with the pawn 
also looks very attractive. Huh? The queen e6 is rook e7, for instance. Now let us try this anyway. I don't know. Rook b1. It takes me a while, huh? I don't feel it. But at least the bishop b6 is now a threat. Involving the bishop, yeah? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, there's interesting. Rook b8, I take. He recaptures. I go bishop h6. Oh, that's nasty, isn't it? That looks nasty. Let's try that because it will just somehow maybe just kill the, 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 the king on the back rank. Okay, shall I start with this uh, bishop h6 uh, business? Um, okay, so if he goes to h8, it's probably... No, yeah, oh, no it's, it's winning because the rook is pinned. Oh, it's winning. The rook is pinned. King, King g8 and... Yeah, okay, so the, the bishop does have now something to do. Yeah, excellent. The, the king has to protect the rook. So king g8 and rook d7, yeah? I mean, is it, is it really winning or what? I can... Okay, I've got to keep my calm now. I've got to keep my calm. C7. He can take that with the queen still. Yeah, so I think I should go here. The queen b1 check business I'm not afraid of. So let's hit the rook, yeah? He has to protect with the queen. I take everything and I go c7, and that's it. Yeah, that's just it. Okay, I, I can still play chess. I can still play chess. Hmm. Wow, he has a rating of 1907, yeah? Wow. The king's Indian. Yeah, it's a check now. Huh? I can just go up. and There is no follow-up check because e4. Um, yeah. S takes, interpose. Yeah, let's just go up. I, I'm already a check this move, so I can just make my move. It's not a problem. Just take the bishop. Again, it's not a problem. The rook is pinned. The queen still doesn't have a nasty check. I again, I'm threatening to take an f7. You're 
probably have to resign now. I think he has to resign now. <coughs> it's always unnerving this chest. Why, why do we do this? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, let's just give the check. Check. to resign now takes and promotes yeah okay thanks world of warcraft i won yay thanks plus one for the tournament and plus 160 okay so um where to go from here? I think maybe we can click on the binocular, binoculars and see what... No. Friends, no. Um, this is the tournament chat, I like that. Um, what is this? No. What is that? This is, okay, the games I played so far in the tournament. Let's go back to the tournament chat and let's click those tabs on top of the screen. Um, yeah, okay. So this here, it shows the tournament standing. So three players won, but Rafik and Pevea are probably still playing, yes? Yes, okay, so let's take a look there. Raf Guess the moves of the players by making a move on the board. So this is Rafik against against Bebe, yeah. Okay, so Rafik is is he? Well, he seems to be winning this. He's up one pawn, but also he's up a position. It seems for a moment there, I thought he was up a piece, but there's a bishop on d4, and his knights are very well. Uh, supported in the center, he's up a pawn as I said, the bishop on d4 is not a good piece, the rook will go to f1 and then f7 will crumble, the queen is very active on h8, this should just be a winning position, also um, knight d to b6 is a threat, when the bishop on d4 will be pinned to the queen on d8, and of course it will pick up the material. Hmm. Now the simplest move is it you know okay maybe the simplest move was rook f6 hitting the the pinning the knight but then maybe king e7 was still there was still there but now it's a threat knight f6 okay but rafiko what happened to his picture this is not the rafik i know <laughs> oh, okay so like resigned here Okay, we play a second game. I, I play against Rafiko, yeah? Um... Now let's try this. It's funny, I'm just not sure who I'm playing. Mm -hmm. So, um, what to do here against the Greenfeld? What to do against the Greenfeld? I think I always liked play like this and then with bishop g5 should I have and now knight e4 is the proper theory move I think no he takes there very quickly Rafiko seems to know what he's doing huh now uh, how to play can we play e4 or should we go uh, more modestly with e3 or queen a4 check? I just don't know. <coughs> I think I like to keep it a little bit more solid. Okay. Yeah, the 
this is maybe a problem, huh? Not sure I like my position. So I also don't really want to play with an isolated pawn, but I can always take with the with the knight. Yeah. Okay. Take that with the knight. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Hmm. I feel I've been tricked into this Grunfeld. I didn't really want to play a Grunfeld, but that's my own mistake. Then at least I should have started with knight f3 or something. And now somehow I'm cold. I'm going to put up the heating Is still thinking. Okay. Well, as I said, I don't really want to play with the, the isolated pawn here. I can also take that with the queen. Yeah. Why don't I take on c5? He'll have to lose some time to recapture. It just looks like a very decent move. I can also play d5. Nah, let's just take. Let's take something. Yeah. That is uh, the, the normal reply you would say. But then rook c1, it might embarrass him a little bit, yes? Not sure if it's if it's correct what I'm doing. Of course, rook d8 is also coming. Now I wanted to play some knight b5 or d5 or maybe we should go with um with a bishop move knight b5 is <coughs> oh, he's also hitting my bishop on g5 huh? we should we should remember that so there's a check on f7. Knight b5 is queen b6. And I'm just not sure what I'm doing. Not sure what I'm doing. It's not really a follow up, huh? Well, maybe bishop f4 is there. There's some ways, of course, for him to protect that square. It's an aggressive move, knight b5. I don't know if it's going to bring me anything. I'll force him to make some, probably some decent defensive moves and it just won't work. It just won't work, I feel. On the other hand, on the other hand, ah, let's give it a go. But I'm just gambling a little bit, to be honest. I'm gambling. <coughs> it's a very opportunistic move, you know. I mean, a player of his strength. Probably just see what, yeah, there you go, exactly. Of 
Um, then again, bishop c7 does threaten <coughs> to win the queen, so, sort of. So I'm I'm chasing the queen, huh? basically in this uh, in this position. So knight e5, I take with the queen. Rook d8, I'll probably go bishop, queen b3, hitting f7. And knight e8, yeah. Knight e8, okay. Can I make use of that? Probably not. Knight e8 defends, huh? But which squares is he leaving behind with knight d8? But then, of course, I I, I like my rooks. There must be a very good move after knight e8, but what is there for me to attack then? Huh? What is there to attack? I can also play something simple. But a6 will always be his next move. And uh, oh well b b3 will be hanging. B2, I mean. But then again, maybe not. If if bishop b2, rook b1, bishop goes somewhere. And again, this queen on b6 is embarrassed. I'll play um, knight c7 anyway. Hitting the queen. And uh, the rook in the corner. He'll make a bishop move then. Make a bishop move. So let's say knight e8. I might just give him the trap with h3. I might play h3 there. Safeguarding my back rank. And then if he plays bishop b2, rook b1, huh? Yeah, that seems to win material. Yeah. There's also the very decent queen e2 in that position I thought I'm going to play bishop c7. Okay, that's interesting, I suppose. Ja, oké, okay, maar um, paard c7 wint dat niet iets. Paard c7, toren b8. That seems to win material. But maybe there's something stronger. Because um, it feels like, uh, to be honest, Like bishop, bishop c7 is stronger. So bishop c7, um, queen a6, and then I'll just retreat the bishop to, let's say, e. Um, 
e2. I can also just go knight c7, huh? And then the bishop goes, and then where to mac, where to... Well, like I said, knight d5 hits the queen, so he will take that. And then I'll take on b8. But I, I have to figure out how that... Who does offload, yeah? So, okay, knight c7, rook b8, knight d5, knight takes d5, bishop takes on b8, and he may take my bishop on c4. I'll recapture that then he goes bishop e6 hitting my rook and my bishop again it's a little bit complicated so yeah well, well. Ah. let's calculate that again because it's it's a very uh, crucial line I think knight c7 rook b8 Knight, isn't there another move somehow that I can play there? Uh, a funny, a funnier knight move, like knight e8. I don't know. Bishop c7 and queen. Oh, but bishop, huh? bishop, no. Well, I have to make a I have to make a, a decision. <sighs> I can't figure it out. I just can't figure it out. Okay, let's go with this. I can't figure it out. Let's go with this. Weak moment, weak moment in the game in my play. Unable to figure out <coughs> concrete variations, yeah. And then, what's the best square for my queen? Well, um, I figured that he was preparing for bishop c7, so why is he thinking now? There's no other safe square than a6, yes. c5 is bishop f7. d4 I can take, e3 I can take. Uh, the other diagonal a5 inaccessible, c7 protected, b5 impossible, b7, e6 I take, d6 I take, uh, c6 is also bishop f7, b6 he cannot stay, so he has to go. a6, and then the idea is to save the bishop from c4 and go to e2. That's that's the plan. And then hopefully we're threatening something with uh, knight, knight d6, or... And that's the thing, I don't really have a good... a good discovery yet, huh? Can also just drop back 
after bishop e2 with uh, knight c6. Maybe maybe knight c7 would have been better there. Just try and win the exchange, and you know my rook's already being quite active. But let let's see if he can figure out what he wants to do here. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Knight d6 should be extremely strong. Let's go with knight d6. That just looks tremendous. Or is there a better move? Ah, let's play with that. Come on. starting to doubt now if if Rafik well not now I already started doubting that a long time ago if Rafik is the Rafik I know if it's I just sort of don't recognize that picture hmm am I just not tripping the queen I mean how to save the queen huh with b5, then I take with the bishop. It's just bye bye queen. It's incredible. It's incredible. Wow. I won. Okay. Well, that was a win. I don't think b6 was, was a correct move. Anyways. Okay, so we're talking a little bit about the game. He's saying that ninety five was not, not not good, but I have the feeling that B six was clearly the the size of mistake. What if he just drops back with the knight? But okay, some chances for me there, yeah, obviously. <coughs> but the funny thing is, you know, you just start chasing your targets, huh? Oh, okay. Aha, so I'm playing against Jasper. He is by far the most dangerous uh, opponent. So what to play against Jasper? Maybe just something that I know pretty well. The Scottish game or... Well, let's try this. <coughs> Jasper drew in the previous game. Okay, now he's thinking. Now I like this this knight c6 move, but he's going to play knight f3. Oh no, not okay. Well, then I think I'm quite happy because I know quite well what to do here in this position. I think. There's bishop b4 and there's bishop c5. Hmm, I have to be careful. Well, what's wrong with bishop c5, huh? Not so much, is there? Okay, so let's buy. This, this was my idea anyway. Want. 
Let's play some normal chess. Okay, let's play some normal chess, come on. I was thinking about knight h6 ideas to maybe later play this. Um... Uh huh. Um... Like I said, let's put some normal chess. Maybe some a6. Silly move, maybe, but... This should be quite decent. Maybe prepare some F5, huh? With knight e8. Yeah, but I'm not so sure that F5 is such a fantastic move, to be honest. Let's try this. He chose an interesting uh, setup with the fianchetto. Mm, so he wants to go clearly, clearly, clearly wants to go there now. Is queen e7 a move? He, he plays f4, I take it. He takes that with the... Oh boy. I'm, I'm relaxing a little bit. I, I feel I'm relaxing a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much, but... move surprises me. <coughs> this move surprises me, because now the e5 square is mine, yeah? Well, bishop d4 I always wanted to play, that's impossible, haha. <laughs> um, give a check in one go, can't I? What's his plan? <sighs> I don't know, it doesn't feel right somehow what I'm doing. But I am controlling the e5 square, so that, that looks fine. Yeah. But now bishop d4 looks good. Now bishop d4 looks good. Also threatening to double on c. Let's try this, yeah? Can't 
just to win the pawn now. See if I can win the pawn. Yeah, because e7 is also protected. Okay, let's just go with that. c3 is hanging. g3 is weak. Now maybe he is threatening. Knight uh, g3 looks nice. King takes. piece forward <coughs> hmm. Knight f6 G5 Knight G5 is H4 and then then, then where to? Check. Knight g3, king g3, queen h4, he goes to h2, and how do I continue? This looks like a very strong move, but yeah. I don't really see a follow-up there, a strong follow-up. You can also just try and play this a little bit more positionally. Knight c5 takes, takes. Yeah, I don't really like it. I don't really like it. I don't I just don't know what to do now all of a sudden oh f5 maybe is move f5 is a move yes f5 is that a move
f5 or if he starts pinning me mm -hmm. so I can just maybe play the position a little bit b6 ah, let's try that okay b6 and then f5 I need to involve the f-pawn it's a little bit slow I know I know I know Let's lock it up. I'm happy to lock it up. And now f5, f4 is a plan, actually. It looks like a plan. Yeah, but I take that bishop, don't I? That looks like a very nice bishop. Let's just take the bishop. Looks good somehow. Yeah. Hmm. If he takes with the rook. What should I be doing? Maybe my advantage is in the weak palms. Yeah? Maybe the advantage is in the weak palms. Yes. A4 is weak. C4 is weak. This king is also not a very happy camper. Okay, c3 is weak. My knight is very strong. Okay, but uh, f5 is maybe problematic because of knight e6 stuff. Yeah, so maybe not go there. Uh -huh. But a very nice move for me to play now is probably this. I'm attacking a4. And queen g5 stuff is coming. Rook e3. Yeah. Looks all very harmonious now. But of course I have to be careful, yeah. H7 is a weakness. There's always going to be a problem with uh, playing against Jasper. And I'm seriously down on the clock, like eight minutes. So that's a big problem. But that's also a very good end game if I play like this now, yeah. Maybe this. Now I'm getting all the chances, I feel. I'm already up a pawn and a position basically. Exchange and go rookie two. Isn't that the simplest somehow?
Yeah. I don't know, I would be pulling. Yeah, okay, let's keep it simple, huh? Let's just go here, I think. There's always F6 to somehow defend, huh? It's also not a very nice move to have to, to play. Yeah, he's just throwing everything in the kitchen sink at me. should just take all that stuff huh? yeah this was a little bit my problem with taking the queen on d4 and that now he has this push I'm just losing the, the technical control here. Maybe not winning this anymore. Hmm. all too quickly huh it was a winning position of course Just completely winning position, but he hij overdomme het nog maar. He's just yeah. Okay. Um.
let's try this it's just it's a complete load of bullocks but it'll just check me probably maybe his king is still not completely safe huh that could be something to work with Rook a seven, maybe rook d five. Okay, now he starts to think, yeah. Yeah, he's got me rattled. He's got me rattled. Like I said, I'm not not really having the the eye on the technique here. It's, this is somehow. Well, I should apply myself better. Yeah, don't start looking for excuses. I should uh, apply myself better. wasn't really thinking or talking but it's also because he plays so fast huh? he knows probably that if he starts playing a, a slower technical game he will lose against me so the only thing to try is to rattle me um okay let's just try and lock him up somehow i like it Oh, I've, I, I completely forgot that now he can take on c6. You see, I'm not even thinking anymore. Um, maybe this check. This check somehow, I like, check. We just offer a draw. Ah, draw is fine. Let's offer a draw. Not so happy with the position. Okay, let's take the pawn. Yeah, no, it's not so easy. Oh. Um, it should be just a win now, somehow. Now I think it's just a, it's just a basic, basically a win. Move the bishop from e6 to d5. What's he doing? E sixty five looks very strong. H five is maybe also nice. No, oh, then he takes on G five with a check. <laughs> okay, so let's not do that. Also, you should try and keep. The king on the dark squares, I think. Maybe rook c5 he'll try, or a check. They should first make a move. Come on, you cannot... You cannot. Uh... I 
think it's okay. So he's going to take on c6 here. Yeah. I may have to play a very a difficult. No, I think it's 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 going to be fine. Oh, rook c3 to g3. No, rook c3 to g3. Sorry guys, I'm completely forgetting that I'm on air. <laughs> I'm just eating. Don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, I won the game. Yay! I should talk more. I'm sorry. I'm forgetting that I'm doing a live stream and that I'm a host. Huh? I can still play chess. I'm happy. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't play these guys for a very long time, you know, due to the COVID-19 situation. Oké okay, jongens, ik ga eens even <coughs> rondkijken. Um, events, friends. Even kijken hoor, dit is de groepschat. Als iedereen klaar is, begint de volgende ronde. Oké, okay. um, nou ja, three wins. Um, Wat... Wat speelt er nu nog? Uh, oh, wacht even. Eens. Sorry guys, I should talk English. Oké. Okay. So one of the players has left the tournament. It would seem. It would seem. Oké. Okay. Uh, maar wie dan?
So I'm just asking <coughs> if this person left us. Now we're with six. Top. I'm just constantly clicking the wrong tabs here. Um, okay, so I'm leading the tournament with three out of three. Bob Baron. Yel Yelsky? No, Yelsky probably. Yelsky joined us but left us. Okay. And. Uh, Bob Barona. Test rider Rafiko. They're starting the new game, it would seem. That was the last game. <coughs> Hmm. I'm winning quite a lot of elo points, guys and dolls. I came from fifteen hundred something, fifteen eleven or something, and now I'm at eighteen fifty six. Okay, kind of like that. But I was being very sloppy in the technical phase there in the last game. Probably don't exchange queens on d four because this c four c five possibility breaks up my beautiful pawn. I should not have done that. I should probably have gone with rookie five and build it up from there. Or something else. There, there must have been something else there as well. Um, but let's go back to the... Mm. Let's go back to the, the game, maybe, and just try and figure it out. Can we? No, we, I don't think we can use an analysis engine. Wait a second, what is this? No. No, that, that's cancelled out. No, I don't think we can use an analysis engine. Um, l like I said, here I could have tried something better. Just keep his pawns at bay. Uh, do not uh, improve his pawn from c3 to d4. So something that looks very logical is this and then if he moves the a rook then a4 becomes weak but let's say he just tries to well, rook f3 rook f3 would be an opportunity there yeah hmm rook f3 and if i move to the second rank you know he'll just continue with this um Oh hey, my game is is going away. My game is going away. But if I click this again, we should. Oh, okay, we're we're playing the new game. I'm playing against. No, I got I got this. Oh, evaluation. So I I can use an engine. Where are the lines? Um, upgrade to get computer engine moves. So where is the evaluation, guys? I, I don't see anything. Explorer. Or should I really be a, a paying member then in that case? Um, oh, wait a second. Here. Uh, the bar is at the left hand. He already says minus two. Um, yeah, yeah, upgrade to get computer engine moves. So this maintains the advantage. Here he. Well, it's okay. Well, he, nah, he, he doesn't like this exchange too much. But so what should we, this is minus three guys, come on, this is huge. Um, yeah, what to do then? Uh, let's suggest this move. Yeah, that maintains the advantage. And then here, queen g5 is maybe a move. 
I still don't want to take on d4. The queen is just dumb on d4. It's it's sort of blocked in. Um, so queen g5 looks like a decent move. Queen g, f yeah. And then you know just put the rook on. Tournament is it over? Why is the tournament over? Why is the tournament over? I think. Why is the tournament over? Ik vraag even. So I'm asking. I'm just getting the message. Tournament is finished. Um, not enough players left, or what's? What's going on? What's going on? Okay, so I won the gold medal with three out of three. Rafiko, the silver. Okay, well, I think that's it, guys. Okay, so I'm still um, chatting a little bit with the tournament director, Jasper. The guy just played in the third game. Um, but I think it's it's time that we uh, we stopped the stream. So everybody, thank you very much uh, for, for watching. Of course, SLC, right? Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like or leave a comment. And then we'll see each other um, in another video or live stream. Okay, bye-bye. Cheers.